I'm going to read you this beautiful book called Hi Cat by Ezra Jack Keats. But first, I need you to go ahead and tap that subscribe button so you don't miss a single book. I'm joined by my very good friend, Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Hello, everybody. Here we go. I haven't read this book, so I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm excited to read it with you. Hi, cat. Ezra Jack Keats. Oh, there's the cat. On his way to meet Peter, Archie saw someone new on the block. Hi, cat, he said as he walked by. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute little cat. Yeah, I like that they, they put like different things on newspapers. And, yeah, that's also, called collage. Yeah. What do you think this child is holding in their hand? I think it's an ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Good prediction. He looked at his reflection in a store window. Look at he's ate a bit of it. The it ice counts. cream made a mustache and beard. Yeah. <laughs> Peter was waiting at the corner. Make way for your old grandpa, Archie said in a shaky voice. He looked Peter up and down. My, my, Peter, <clears throat> how have you grown? Why, Grandpa, Peter said, it's good to see you. Hello, my children, Archie croaked. Hi, Grandpa, Susie giggled. They're playing pretend. Willie was so happy to see Archie. He ran over and licked his face. Archie tasted delicious. Willie licked and licked and licked. No respect for old age. <laughs> the dog sure looks happy. Yeah, it's all that. Archie whispered something to Peter and ran off. Stick around, folks, Peter called. We have a surprise for you. When Archie got back, he and Peter worked while everyone waited. Looks like they're putting on a little show. Okay, Peter announced. Make way for Mr. Big Face. A big paper bag appeared. Then a tongue stuck out one of the eyes. <laughs> Silly. A hand came out of an ear and motioned everyone to move closer. They all obeyed. They're having some fun together. Suddenly, the bag began to shake. It shook harder and harder and... There's a cat tail. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder what that paper bag ate. People started to leave. How do you think Archie feels? Sad. Sad. Disappointed. He really wanted people to watch his show. Yeah. Wait, wait! The show will go on! See the tallest dog in the world! Take a walk! Archie shouted. What's the dog going to see? The cat. Whoop. But then the dog Leap. <laughs> leaps the cat and there goes the show. There goes the show, yeah. Some show, Grandpa. Some tall dog. Who ate your mustache, Grandpa? Everyone walked away laughing. Soon no one was left except Archie, Peter, Willie, and the torn paper bag. It didn't go as planned. Yeah. yeah. It would have been great if it wasn't for that wild cat, said Peter as they walked home. Mmm, said Archie. 
He sure stuck around. Yeah. Hmm. I think that cat's trying to show him something. Oh. And all I said was, hi cat, said Archie, finishing his story. Who's he talking to, do you think? Yeah, I think so too, his mama. You're well rid of a cat like that, said his mother. Archie thought for a while. You know what, Ma? He said, I think that cat just kind of liked me. And that cat's a little thing to him. Yeah, with a little smile. I encourage you to go to the library or your local bookstore and get this book. Ezra Jack Keats is a wonderful author. And don't forget to look up more of his stories. Thank you, Ezra Jack Keats. And thank you, Forrest. Bye, kiddo!